Here I want to introduce you to the use of a cross function within mutate and then the next video will focus on using the case when with the mutate. As far as the across function goes, what it lets you do is apply a function across specified columns. So that is pretty useful in, in that basically instead of having to specify a single column and then another column and then a, another column, you can just apply some type of transformation across multiple columns. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Let's say that all of the character columns, I can see that it's specified in a certain way such that you have basically capital letters and lowercase letters. Let's say we want to convert all of these to capital. We could do that using the across function. So here I'm going to basically take the data into the mutate function. And what we're going to do is an in place change. So we're not going to add new columns. We're actually going to modify existing columns. And so all we have to do here is just use the across function. And then within across, we're going to specify a couple of things. We're going to specify the columns of interest. And then we're going to specify a function that we want to apply. So as far as the columns of interest goes, we're going to use this dot calls argument. And we're going to specify here that the columns need to be character columns. So we can do that by just saying here is dot character. And then as far as the functions goes, we're going to specify a new function call string to upper. And basically what this is going to do is just each of the values of the uh, each of the text values, it's going to convert them to uppercase. So let me just go ahead and run this and show how that looks like. So now we can see that all of the, the characters have been converted to uppercase or the letters at least. And um, this is going to apply across each of the character columns. If we wanted to focus on a couple of specific columns, of course, we could have done that. So let's say that we, we don't want to change the name, but we do want to change the neighborhood group and the neighborhood. Instead of specifying this test of is dot character, we can just specify the names of the columns where we want to apply this. So basically, it's going to be neighborhood group and neighborhood. And once I do that, it's only going to apply the function across these two columns. So that's an example of where you would use um, across when working with character columns. As far as the numeric columns goes, what we could do is I saw that some of the variables such as the reviews per month, the latitude and longitude are uh, decimal numbers. So let's say that we want to round them off. Now, of course, in reality, you would never really round off latitude and longitude uh, because those are generally ex expected to be exact. But uh, just as, a, as an example, we can do the same thing. So first, let's just take our data and then we're going to apply this across function here. And within the columns, I can specify first, let's just specify is dot numeric. We want to make sure that all numeric columns are rounded. So within is dot calls, we're going to refer to the is dot numeric and then dot FNS is where we apply the function and we're applying the round function. And so once I run this, we're going to see that latitude is now uh, an integer. And so is longitude and pretty much all of the other numeric columns as well. Of course, we could apply some other type of transformation like log transformation. It's probably going to cause some errors here, but let's just take a look. So once we do that, we can see that the numeric columns are now log transformed. Uh, since the longitude was negative in many of these instances, doesn't make sense to take the log of it. And so this is just one example. And of course, probably you just want to be more precise. So you want to only transform the columns of interest such as price. And perhaps we could do it all the way up to the number of reviews. So I just got to put a colon there and then number of reviews. And once we do that, then we're going to see that the transformation is only going to apply for these three columns. So I just wanted to provide uh, an example of how to use a cross with mutate, something that I use all the time and just helps you speed up your uh, cleaning of the data set or any other type of numerical transformations that you may be applying. All right.
See you next time.